feel it. <laughs> oh my god. June 17th. Good morning from Kenmore, everyone. It is a a bit of a rainy day, but there's something stunning that I want to show you specifically. Look at those clouds and look at the mountains. Wow. What a morning. What a beautiful sight. Before we head to Cochrane today, we have a few errands to run in Kenmore. And before we ride off, I wanted to give a huge shout out to our host. Thank you. You know who you are. We so appreciate your kindness. Thank you. All right, everyone, let's get on the road and let's get this ride started. Yesterday, I washed my drivetrain. So the chain and the cassette are looking absolutely spectacular. The bike is handling very nicely. Not that it wasn't before, but you know, it's good to have a clean drivetrain. So um, I also want to share what I did. So yesterday I went to a bike shop and I asked them for some Makoff bike cleaner, but the Makoff bike cleaner comes in these massive bottles and I just don't want to carry a one liter plus bottle on a bike. So I went to Canadian Tire and I got this little spray bottle and basically the bike shop just kind of filled it um, with that solution and they didn't charge me for it. So thank you so much, bike shop in Kenmore. And now I just have a little bit of uh, degreaser in here as well. And I'm just going to keep it in my pocket for when I need to clean the drivetrain or the chain next. Yeah. So this is my solution for cleaning on the go. Observations from the road. I'm inching my way into Exshaw. I'm about one kilometer away from it. I'm riding on 1A and what I've noticed on this road is that truckers, the few truckers that do ride on this road are very aggressive. I quickly realized why there were so many trucks on this road when I passed the Lafarge cement plant. So if you plan to ride on Highway 1A through this area, keep your eyes open for less than kind drivers. But as it turns out, Highway 1A is also very popular with cyclists, bikepackers and people on touring bikes. And I was just about to meet a world traveler. So everyone, meet you say. Oh my god! I meet so many cyclists today. Yes, yes! Uh, before you guys, uh -huh. uh, three guys. Three guys? Oh, I just met a cyclist from Japan who started his journey in Los Angeles and he's going up to Yukon and then flying to Toronto and continuing wherever he wants. So awesome to have met him. Uh, we're connected on YouTube. <laughs> and Instagram, so I will leave his information in the description below. A few kilometers down the road, I was in for another cyclist meetup surprise. Hey, cyclist! Hi! Oh, where are you going? Whenever someone asks me, why are you riding solo? Aren't you scared of riding solo? I always tell them you meet so many other cyclists on the road. And I met two other cyclists. Deb and Tom. Hi. How are you doing? There you go. Where are you guys from? We're from Yorkshire in England, small town called Scarborough. And we've been traveling a year, a year, well, a year on Tuesday. Uh, Amazing. So we're just loving it, but we seem to be going in the wrong direction to everybody else. No worries. Um, <laughs> you know, the wrong direction is your right direction. Exactly. <laughs> and, and you just told me you're traveling where? We're going all the way around the world. Around the world. Yeah. Yeah. Around the world. Makes, you know, crossing Canada a bit of a joke. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Anything. It's amazing. No, I, I'm joking. It's, it's a huge effort regardless, but this is amazing. So uh, you just took time off work or you can... Yeah, well, Tom's yeah. taking like a career break and I used, mm -hmm. to, have, I used to have a bike shop. So yeah. I sold my part of the bike shop and um, we bought, rented out the house, bought some bikes. Yeah. And yeah, so just taking a few years out because we don't do it now, we'll get a bit too old. So That's uh, amazing. Go for it. And you have a YouTube channel as well. Do you want to share what it is? Yeah, we do. We do. It's called debsandtom.com. And um, Tom does a few films. He's a real keen photographer. And then I write a little diary so we can remember what's happened. Yeah. And so that's there. And if people want to look at it, it's brilliant. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Nice to so, talk. 
I will leave all the, that information in the description below so that you can follow them and you can also leverage the information that they share on their blog and their website and on their YouTube channel. And again, you always, always meet other cyclists on the road, like we just saw with the Japanese cyclist a moment ago and now with these two. So awesome. All right, let's ride. Look at this landscape. So very different than the mountains and it changed so quickly too. The riding is good. Wane here is very, very quiet. Today is Friday. We were puzzled as to why there was so much traffic on Wane, but it is, well, at this point, it's quarter to four. And I'd say around 3 p.m. traffic increased substantially so this you know two-lane highway is very highly used school buses cars welcome to Cochrane how the West is now oh, what a tagline what a tagline hello everyone welcome to June 18th just leaving Cochrane Firstly, I wanted to say a huge thank you to our Warm Showers host who went above and beyond and making us feel welcome on a very short notice, fixing Marine's stove, changing the cassette on my bike on, again, short notice. Thank you so much for taking amazing care of us. All right, today we are heading to Calgary. Already had a bit of a, bit of a route mishap. I wanted to take uh, a more of a country road and I swear I pressed I made that selection on Google Maps but instead we're heading on 1A which is very busy and we just climbed a massive massive hill the views are of the city are beautiful but uh, it was quite the climb and we're still climbing so let's go Calgary let's go I believe that everything happens for a reason even if in the moment we may not realize it this morning's route mishap placed us on Highway 1A, and this is where our host from Canmore found us. Why was he looking for us? Well, Marine had forgotten her medication at his place and he was in the area and wanted to drop it off. He also had a gift for me. Remember the time when I had to give up my little camping chair? Well, today, today I got a chair in return. Take a look at this. I hope you can see, well, maybe not because I'm sitting on it, but I have been gifted a little Sherpa triangle chair, which is incredible. It is absolutely perfect. It weighs nah, nothing. It weighs nothing. The other chair was, in comparison, very heavy. But um, a host just gifted me this chair. You know who you are if you're watching. Thank you so much. We're approaching Calgary. It's raining cats and dogs. We are lost somewhere on the trails it is raining like oh god ungodly amount we're lost and the GPS is telling us to go that way into that mud pit but well another cyclist let's ask him what's going on there because this is crazy okay let's go many times during this trip I got lost or I made wrong choices and every single time at what seemed like the worst moments, I met people who helped me. The cyclist who we met up on top of that hill told us how to get off the hill. And then, more kindness followed. And while Calgary was confusing on arrival, the people were magnificent, so helpful, and they went out of their way to help us out. Well, we got to where we needed to go and look. Danger, open excavation. Good sign? Not a good sign. Calgary? You've not been kind to us. But I was wrong. The people in Calgary we were so very kind to us. The two road cyclists in front of me are Susie and Todd, who saw how confused we were when they were giving us directions that they decided to guide us where we needed to go. This was a 15 kilometer diversion, and that was not at all part of their planned route that day, but they didn't mind. They gave us the much needed motivation to continue and even provided a boost up a steep climb. Now, if you've oh, ever been pushed you. up a steep hill by another cyclist, it's glorious. 
No e-bikes needed. Well, that's a very nice e-bike boost. <laughs> that's what it must feel like. <sighs> and you're getting a workout, yes? Yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> I used to do this with Susie when she was starting. Oh my God. She's getting better now. Thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs> Translation, subscribe. And hit the like button.